Have you ever had a door that sticks? Sometimes that can be really frustrating and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a door that sticks. Stay tuned for David's tutorial. Now when you have a door that sticks generally there's going to be only one or two places where it's jamming up rubbing against the door frame and you can look at it turn on a light on the far side of the door and sometimes you can see where the light shines through and where it doesn't shine through. Now I've already done that on this door and I've discovered that it's sticking right up here in this area. I can also tell it by opening the door and going out and looking at the door frame and I see scrape marks right in this area. So that tells me where the door is sticking but if you're not sure what you need to do is to get a piece of paper and you take strips of this piece of paper and you put it into the door frame to see where it's sticking. So what you do is you put it into the door frame, you close the door, and if the paper comes right out, then you know it's not sticking in that place. So I'm gonna put it up here on the side, and it comes right out, no problem. I'm gonna put it in the middle up here, and it comes right out, no problem. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh-huh, uh, it's not so bad. Ah, there's where it's sticking. See, the paper doesn't come right out. Sometimes the door overlaps the frame so the door won't even fit into it. It just kind of bangs up against it. Now, once you figure out where the door is sticking, you're going to shave the door where it's sticking so it won't stick in that area anymore. You can either take the door off the hinges, which I've already tried to do here, and it turns out whoever installed these hinges did a really bad job. It's more than 40 years old, and they installed them upside down so that the pin would be coming out the bottom. But if it was a normally installed hinge, then you just take a screwdriver and maybe a hammer or something to bang it with, and you bang on the hinge so you get the pin out and then you can take the door off once you get all three or sometimes four pins out of the hinges and you just take the door out and you take it somewhere that it doesn't matter where you have shavings fall on the ground and you can clean them up easy later. I can't really get these hinges out so my choice at this time is I can either totally replace the hinges which you can do if you have bad hinges and I was tempted to do that and right now in the middle of 2023 I just looked online you can get them at Lowe's as cheap as $4.50 a piece you can get them on Amazon I saw a set of 12 for about $13 so you know they're barely more than a dollar a piece and you can get them all up to whatever price you like for a really good hinge and you can replace your hinges and while you're replacing your hinges you can go ahead and shave the door. The other option besides taking the door off the hinges and taking it outside to shave it is to shave it in place and that's what I've decided to do here today. Since the sticky part is only one section right in this section of the door I'm going to have to get a stool just for safety and here's my, my, here's my stool. I'm going to get this stool and I'm going to go up to the top of the door and I'm going to shave it there. Now this is a Stanley Sureform rasp plane. It's basically a rasp file mounted on a handle. And I have been using this thing probably for more than 50 years, and I really enjoyed having it. It's not something I use a lot, but when I need it, I've got it, and I'm very glad I have it. They have these on Amazon right now, a Stanley Sureform plane. It might not look exactly like this, but you will find something there and it's one of the best tools ever for shaving a sticking door and you can get them usually for less than 20 bucks sometimes less than 10 bucks here we go up on the stool open the door to get to the sticky area and now ah, I've got to brace the door you got to be very careful not to have the file go outside of the finish of the door because that will peel some of the door off and maybe peel this finish back and you don't want that so anyway so I'm gonna go from the finish to the top of the door and it's just gonna be this little section right here here we go and I'm gonna do it some on this side and I can feel the shaving shaving sawdust come down on my arm and I'm gonna get it some on this side again going from the finish into the non-finish area of the door and it's a little bit awkward to get to here let me get to it from a different angle I'm pulling the door up against the stool and that'll keep it nice and solid and I'm going again from the outside finish area to the non-finish area 
I'm going to take a little bit more than I need just to make sure that if the house shifts again with all this wet weather we've been having and the, the clay under the house that swells and shrinks. So that if the house shifts again, it won't stick. Now I've only taken a little bit off of this top of the door and let's see how well it works. It's sticking still just a little bit, but not as bad as before. This is good because I'm not going to overdo it too much. Here we go. Off it. Now there are power tools you could use to do this. And if you're into power tools, maybe a coarse sandpaper on a drill would work. It's very smooth and that's how you fix a door that sticks. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll share it with other people who might like to see how to fix a door that sticks. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and that'll let the YouTube robots know that they should share it with other people and recommend it. And leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me how well it worked for you. And finally, if you're a subscriber already, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will let you know by email when we post another great video right here on David's Tutorials and Vlog Channel. Take care, everybody, and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day and week and year. Bye-bye.